Hi right, YouTube, welcome back to WTFRC Cars. So, part of the 102 update for the Noble Pro is the fact that we can now use the BVD lead um, as the RX icon. So I'm going to show you, we're using the FGR 12B, but it's exactly the same process for the 4, 8, 12B and the INR4 GYB. Um, so basically, the DVB lead, uh, BVD, sorry, will only plug in one way and it goes into the port labelled V. So you don't lose one of your channels or anything. If it's the battery that you're running the RC off, you just use the positive. If it's a separate battery that's powering anything else that doesn't go through the receiver, you can use your positive and negative. But let's bring you in for a close-up look and I'll show you how to set it up. Right, so we've got the Noble Pro. The new update lets you have the RX icon displaying with uh, the BVD lead. So basically, we're gonna power his receiver up in bind mode. And if you've already got this bound, you won't need to do it. So channel definition 12, because it's an FGR 12B. And RX menu, bind, bind as announced. And then what we can do is go RX menu and you scroll down. Basically, as stock, it's going to be set as internal. So it's just going to display whatever the BEC or your battery is doing. And you can have external if you want to use one of the telemetry ones or if you want to use BVD. It's now got that feature added. So I'm going to be running off a 7.2 volt high voltage LiPo. So I'm going to set the higher voltage out of the way so it won't ever reach it. Which I believe is about 8.6 volt on them. Something like. I want no lower than 6.6 .6 volt. And I want it to start warning me. Uh, probably about 6.8 volt will be fine for that. So, at the minute, you can see it's warning us. So, basically what we need to do is get the DVB, uh, BVD, plug it into the port with the V on it. Now, if you are monitoring the LiPo that it's running off, we can connect that. So, if it's going to be... The battery that is either powering your ESC or your receiver directly, you plug only the positive into the balance lead or the red lead from the battery, whichever's more convenient. You don't use the negative lead at all. The only time you'll use the negative lead is if you're powering a completely separate battery that does not run power through your receiver. And the reason for this, if you accidentally plug the negative into the positive, you will blow it. And they don't need the negative because it's getting negative from the receiver itself. So basically, that's how you're going to be connecting it. So just positive to the positive on balance lead or your main positive lead at battery and your BVD in there. And then as you see, we get voltage reading sort of icon at the top now what you can do if you go into here you can calibrate it and you can also set when this is full or when it's low so if you bring that down closer to the battery it'll show fuller if you take it up further away, it'll show that the battery is lower. So you basically just need to know the actual voltage of your LiPo as to where this icon is going to show full and empty. Currently, it'll show completely empty at 6.6 .6 and it'll set an alarm off at 6.8 and it'll show full at 6.4. Uh, sorry, 8.4. But hopefully that makes sense. We'll wrap this one up. Right, there you go. Nice and easy step by step on how to use the BVD. I keep getting that the wrong way around, but uh, battery voltage detection lead, if you like. 
and the Noble Pro on the latest firmware. So it now works the same way as the MB4's done for about eight months, I think. It was quite a while back when the MB4 got the update to have the RX icon as the external battery um, voltage detection cable. But uh, nice to see they now both work exactly the same. But thanks a lot again for watching WTFRC Cars. If you like this kind of content, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Share to friends and family. Catch you guys again in the next one.